Hello guys and welcome to another one. This one is going to be what I think should be the method you guys take when farming stuff like this, like Jewels of Creation which has a legendary rarity. So if you'll notice and if you need to go back for a second to look, I'm wearing my Mightiest Mimic Helmet for luck. I am also wearing a Concord and because of this, I've changed my build a bit because I now need the temporary, the temporary magic up one from my leg slot because I'm getting luck from my head slot. I can technically get luck from my leg slot with the Arisen Jolly stocking. And I can use my Omega, Omega, Omega helmet. Guys, I don't remember the name of that thing, but the one I showed you guys in the, in the best build video. So go back and check that one out. So technically I can switch it up, but the point is to get the desired bonuses from each slot. So because I do not have good boots for the temporary magic up, I'm using my, well, they're the second best boots for the, the temporary magic up, but it's just that there is a better option, which I do not have. So I'm back on my Ash Plum boots, which are available during this event. And I would recommend you guys get it just because it gives you that flexibility in builds. So I'm going to test this build out to see if it can. It's obviously not going to be as strong as the other build because the other build has extra stat ups. Well, it has one extra stat up and it has more mana to work with because now I have to use the heretics robe to drain some of the mana quicker instead of the sky falling shoes or boots. So, as I said, let's see what this build is capable of. Let's see if it can do a bit of damage. I'm really hoping it will because I want some luck. Because I've been realizing that I actually have not been getting much, much compared to my baby account. My baby account got like, like 10 and I got like 3. One time my baby account got like seven and I got like one quality. So I've been saying, no, it has to be that I'm not getting as many jewels in the first place. So that is pretty much what I am here trying to figure out, honestly. I wish that wasn't the case, but to be fair, playing with no luck raw damage, it most likely would be the case just because... You know, you need to slot in some luck in there, I guess is what the game itself is trying to tell me. So it's the build seems decent so far. I um hmm. Let me see. Okay, so I can use a bit more mana if it gets back to me. I keep on clicking because I think I'm the host here, please. Alright. Some damage was there, but not enough damage side face but now i can use up a bit of my mana and i'm using my mana as you guys know so that i can get more comfortably into iconoclast range because i will have enough mana to complete the the dungeon regardless because i have what about 14 15 floors left there about and i have enough mana to do about that uh, okay. So now I'm happy for this turn. So I get to heal because even without the... Oh, I just got the, the Emir Zalti staff on my baby. Even without... What was I about to say? That distracted me. Mm, sad face. So you'll notice that I have 10 floors left and I have over 1,400 mana. 
and I only need 1,400 for 10 casts, so not bad. And I'm obviously using a smelly mushroom, which I won't always be using, but I'm trying to see the maximum damage output. So I'm going to try again after this one without the smelly mushroom, because in my best build for this dungeon, it, it doesn't require the smelly mushroom. And I really like that because smelly mushrooms are a bit hard to come by. Granted, March will be the month for them, and I'm going to make sure I stock up but for now i only have like 300 total so and you know i'm going to be doing 300 dungeons in like two days three days so i'm obviously not going to be able to consistently use smelly mushrooms and you can see as the dungeon is coming to an end so is my mana and that is what we are looking for so i'm at my strongest towards the end of the dungeon and we just kill these noobs okay i, I did some decent damage that last wave so technically it is possible to do some decent damage with the with the what do i call that now with the berserk mushroom in let us see what we can do without and the time saved from not using the i mean smelly mushroom the time saved from not using the smelly mushroom because you have to use it then you have to use another consumable is always good <laughs> i actually forgot that i was playing two accounts there so not that much time saved now that i wasted some of it there let's try our best to be as quick and efficient as possible. And we're gonna pop the berserk mushroom and I might, yeah. I'm gonna just kill this guy here to use up some mana and I'm gonna hope my baby account can handle the other two little things awesome i will take that <gasps> oh my god guys i was trying to click on spell oh my god i'm such a fucking noob jesus christ wow that was bad that was so sad that made me so sad i'm so bad bro jesus i didn't even use any mana if i had used another spell it would have been fine bro if i had used another spell it might have been a little bit fine but no i decided to use nothing awesome i'm gonna go ahead and panacea here just because it's a bit dark and i would like to see what's going on I'm going to use multi flare here. This is a really nice one for these creatures. Massive dragon damage. I feel like my HP has also taken a hit with this build. And I'm not even sure why. Because the other thing gave me like 2000 extra HP. Is 2000 HP really that big a difference? Hmm. Huh. It's just a bit surprising, I guess. So I have just above 3,000 mana. I have 2,800 mana, so enough for 10 floors. Meaning I can expend some mana. You could have gotten the big hit, bro. You could have gotten the big hit. Why did you not take the big hit? That's so bad. Why even 
so i'm gonna go ahead and give you a big hit just because you dodged the previous big hit come on yeah i felt that one okay i can still do a hit or two so 630 mana for okay i'd actually prefer to just do a mages dance there just to speed things up so as you guys can see it's all about the temporary buffs if the temporary buffs are up i can if they're not up i can't so wow even my luck build has some use that is beautiful that is beautiful that is beautiful that is nice obviously this one might have been like six or seven minutes because i kept on doing garbage but i feel like this could come down to five minutes sometimes yeah i feel like especially if i had those good boots from zeus oh my god yeah because they just proc the magic one up just a bit more than everybody else everything else those those items okay. well i'll take it and i'll be stunning that realm shifter okay someone else standing for me let me just kill this little freak here awesome so that was six minutes not bad so thank you guys as usual for watching i would like to send a special shout out to my patreons and everyone who has subscribed who comments and who likes my videos so yeah more to come more especially on my patreon page but in general more and i want to say more end game stuff but you guys will see more early game stuff too because my little baby over here is getting stronger he's only level 229 now but i feel like that is strong enough for him to start making some videos that people may or may not enjoy we'll have to see but we're gonna try aren't we so yeah guys thanks for watching as usual and ta-ta